My name is Ivan, I'm one of uh, Astier de Villard designers. My name is Benoit, uh, I'm one of the designers of Astier de Villard. Oh, from the beginning. We love our shop, we think it's very special. Magic. We opened the shop in 2000, we probably saved the shop from destruction. It started in the 18th century and we have kept as much as possible as it was. The shop has been very inspiring for us. It's really the need to fill the shop to make it uh, look nice that we want to do new products. We have a very good team in our Paris workshop. We have French artisans as well as many Tibetans. We are maybe more inspired by things a little bit forgotten or not very well considered. So this is how we do the ceramic. We like things which would be for other unfinished. This comes from two reasons. One, we didn't know how to do it properly. But on the other hand, it comes from the taste we have for roughness, so we like some imperfection. So we wouldn't have been happy to learn how to do it properly. Perhaps of the first uh, object, object mm -hmm. it's an uh, object for still life. In the beginning it's not uh, functional. We are not very functional yes. at the beginning. If it's beautiful, it's okay. <laughs> We get on instantly with uh, Francois Caron, maybe because we had no idea about fragrance business, so we came with very simple ideas and she liked that. When we do a new fragrance, we meet Françoise Caron and Emily, who does the design of uh, all the perfume and candles with us. We like the idea of a still journey, the fact you stay at home and you start traveling a bit like lost in your memory. So the candles are always related with places, cities or streets. Cigarette et whisky et petite bébé, si c'est ta vie, t'as raison de les aimer. Les femmes et le tabac, laisse-moi te l'expliquer. À peine allumé, ça s'envole en fumée. We like typesetting. It's almost like, you know, calligraphy or any kind of art. Monsieur Vin is the last big typesetter in France. If Monsieur Vin stops the printer, we are really in trouble because we don't want to print it with another technique and no one else is able to do it. I think everything we do is a little fragile like that. Because for the for the ceramics it's the same problem. We do notebooks. We love notebooks for many reasons. Of course, because we draw all the time. For us, it's also the opportunity to do some abstract work. 
the opportunity to work on color vibration. It's very, very interesting for us. Our notebooks are all different. You will never find twice the same. Whatever we do, we like to create things which looks unique, almost alive. Yeah, it's the same with the ceramic. We are very linked with uh, Tibetan. It's like a very ancient, uh, fantastic culture. We feel very linked with, with that. Every person does, for example, a cap from the beginning to the end, all the details. They add a little bit of life. It's like, you know, a bit of their energy goes in the plate, so they sign it. and. You can see often the personality. They're definitely craft people. C'est des artisans, oui, les Tibétains. Oh, oui. Yeah, they're really craftsmen. At the beginning, we covered the ceramic with uh, wax or we left it raw because people start asking, hey, can we put uh, food? We had to put a glaze. The most simple was the white glaze. White was considered inappropriate for a table and we like this violent white on the black soft clay. It seemed to us a very simple and very nice contrast. and me, we work together all the time. It's complicated. It's a question of balance. Basically, our idea is then when we agree, the both of us about something, it must be okay. Baltus is very important for Astia Gilat. It's like the secret grandfather or something like that. Baltus is uh, one of the only painter who's of the 20th century who's been interested by what was neglected and forgotten, just following his passion. And in that, we feel a bit similar. Setsuko is a Japanese artist who was the wife of Baltus. She's living in Switzerland. For Setsuko, art is, a, is really a lifestyle. It's really in everything.
Katsukanas are doing uh, any kind of uh, plate dishes. We are also going to do some fragrance with her. Around Grand Chalet, where Setsuka is living, also around Baltus uh, studio, are a lot of lime tree, and uh, it's absolutely delicious. It's a good uh, way to, to be with friends. <laughs> we work a lot with Shakespeare and Company in Paris. We love the bookshop, which is absolutely magical place. We like A la Mère de Famille, which is the oldest shop in Paris of chocolate and candies. The collaboration with uh, John Darren. It's interesting because John has such an enormous range of images and his universe is so wide. It was the first time we could really put images and colors on our white ceramic. We like doing collaboration, working with all these people. It's like then they get inside uh, our world. They become us, we become them. In the end it creates a whole universe, like a family. You see, everything is connected. We started Acid du Latte in 1996. Are we happy? Yeah, we're happy. Acid is like uh, have a baby. Now it's uh, practically uh, an adult. Five years ago, it's more difficult. It's like, uh, when I said that was a teenager, we <laughs> had no trouble. <laughs> when it's baby, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is true. We don't try technique. to be rational in the production. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to do beautiful things. things, whatever we do. Things we are proud of. Just that. We're not really businessmen. We do business, it happens, we do business, but we, we mainly do things we find fun. We really believe if you don't have, I don't know if it's the good expression, but if you don't have pleasure doing what you do, you do something wrong. It's something people are not going to like. You have to share with other people the pleasure you have doing things. Sharing an experience and maybe then other people are going to find the things interesting.